Ah, curses. Those annoying little humans throwing their garbage all around the forest like this. I swear, if I get my nine tails to capture that culprit, I'm gonna... Ah, ah, my face and hands hurt. There's quite some bleeding too. Uh, the river is still a few walks away. Uh, and my feet hurts too. Uh, can't, get, can't this night get any worse? Uh, better clean my hand at least. Who's there? You better come out. I'm not in the mood to play games. <gasps> what? What is a human doing here in the forest at night? Wait, is this supposed to be the culprit? Hmm. <gasps> oh no. They're coming closer. <sighs> I should show my nine tails to scare him off. I can't control my mana just yet to intimidate them with my aura. Well, I guess this will do. Huh? That's odd. Why, they're, why are they not scared at me? Even with my tails out. And why don't I sense a malicious intent from this human? Aren't they aware of what Kumios are? So stupid. Why did you speak out loud? Ah, don't touch me. What's that sweet scent? It's coming from that red, round, opaque object on a white stick. Perhaps. Is the human enticing me with that to let my guard down? Uh, lo lollipop? What's that? Some kind of human poison? But the human licked it. Maybe it's safe. Hmm. Wow, it does really taste nice and sweet. Uh, wh why do you rub your hand across my head? <laughs> head pat? Good boy? Me? What nonsense are you saying, human? Leave, before I freeze you with my tails. Earn my trust. You're so naive. Didn't the humans teach you how dangerous Kumias are? Well, if you know, then why aren't you afraid of me? You've met a Kitsune before. Well, I can say they're different from us. Well, a little different. They're much nicer and more beautiful than me. And they are mostly loved by humans. Unlike me. The humans are scared of me, thinking I'll eat them or use them for something bad. How can you say that I'm kind and beautiful when you barely even know me? This is probably your first time seeing a Kumiho. Not to mention, 
I even tried to threaten you with my tails, you know. Hmm. So you have a long history with musical creatures since you were a kid, huh? But still, you're as naive as you can get. Approaching an injured Kumiho like that. Don't you have a sense of danger? Ah! 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 My hand. Ah! What are you taking out from that bag of yours? A bandage? For what? I don't want to. I still don't trust you, humans. The lollipop? You mean, the sweet stuff you showed earlier? Fine. I'll let you treat my wounds then. Can you... Just let me have your so-called lollipop. Just be care- Ah! That stings so much! Are you trying to hurt me, human? Hmm. Be relieved I'm occupied with this lollipop. By the way... What's that black and silver snake-like thing on your neck? Do you use that for medicine? Uh, stethoscopy? Stethoscop? <laughs> Whatever. So, it lets you listen to the heartbeat and breathing, huh? That's a peculiar magic object that you're using. What do you usually cure anyway? So basically, a traveling doctor. You go around the world trying to treat different humans. Did I get that right? I see. Isn't that much of a hassle? You need to travel by boat and walk many towns just to get to other places. Fly? Wait, are you a sorcerer that can fly? Airplanes. What a weird way to travel. Hmm. Oh, you're done already? <laughs> well, you work fast. Not bad for a human. Though, as fascinating as this is, you still kinda hurt me. But you did give me this delicious lollipop, so I'll let it slide. What are you doing in the forest in the first place? Oh, <laughs> that's probably the fog barrier I set up. It's to keep meddling humans, just like you, out of my domain. Then again, you are a kind human, and don't seem to be too capable to do harm. Help you out? Why I... Hmm. You know what? I'm in a good mood. And I took quite a liking to you. And your lollipop, I guess. Sure. I'll help you out. Seems my strength is coming back, so give me a few seconds. I'll summon my spirits for you. Yeah, spirits. I have nine tails, and with that, I have nine spirits too. I shall give you my nine spirits, and help you get out of my forest. And since you have a pretty aura around you, they'll help you out and get along with you just fine. Don't worry, 
These nine spirits are good and helpful. And they are a copy of mine, so no need to worry about keeping them. Alright, there you go. These spirits should keep you from harm and help you if you need them. Also, if you want, you can also use them to summon me. Ah, well, it's nothing. I mean, you're quite a fragile human, so I thought you might need my help. That's all. And maybe you can also treat me again with that lollipop you've got. No problem. And thank you, by the way, for treating my wound. As well for keeping me company. Staying here for thousands of years can get really lonely. So, thank you for adding excitement to my life. You're not half bad, human. <laughs> Till we meet again, human. Take care.